Guys, we all know the power of video content on internet and people want to watch videos everywhere. But guys, creating those videos for platforms like social media is exceedingly time taking and exhausting process. But the good news is you can use new age technologies and softwares like Creatomat to create video content for you and you do not even have to use a camera. And with the help of our automations, you can set the creation of videos and sharing of the videos on your social media platforms on autopilot. And guys, we are going to set up this automation super easily without any coding knowledge. So by the end of this video, you will learn everything about this automation. So let's begin. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And we are going to set up this automation here. So guys, I have pasted the same link in the description as well. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So guys, you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I am giving the name here. So I have given the name create and short videos on social media, create and share short videos on social media automatically. And after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So trigger is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be the response or the consequence of the trigger. So guys, in the trigger, you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So in our use case, guys, we are going to add some details in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. And with the help of that details, we are going to create a video. Okay, so creation of the video will be the action and the trigger would be to would be to add the content of the video inside the spreadsheet. Okay, so here, I am using Google Sheets application. So search for Google Sheets here. After that, you have to select the trigger event. So trigger event would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay. So whenever a, a new row is added in your spreadsheet, this is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. And here guys, you can see we have uh, this webhook URL now. So with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with our spreadsheet. And to do that, you have to follow these steps written here. Okay, so you can just read the steps and follow them. Let me show you how you can do this. So guys, first of all, let me open my spreadsheet in a new incognito window. I have opened it, opened this here because I am using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. So if you, if you are also doing this, you should also open the spreadsheet in incognito window so that we can make the connection properly. Okay, and guys here you have to click on extensions. From here, you have to click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. And guys, from the Google Workspace Marketplace, you have to install an add-on here, which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks. So you have to search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is Pabli Connect Webhooks, and you have to install it here like I have installed. Okay, and after installing this, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. This is an important step. And after refreshing the spreadsheet, when you click on extensions again, you will find the Pabli Connect webhooks option available here in the drop down. And from here, you have to click on initial setup button. And here under initial setup, you will find two fields. First is the webhook URL field and the second is the trigger column. So in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And here in the trigger column, you have to enter that column, which is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, so here you can see guys, I have these two columns A, B and the third column C. So uh, here I am entering these details, the text that I want to appear on the video and the caption of my post. Okay. And as I'm going to uh, enter the data here in the B column, I want that the that my workflow should trigger and start working and complete the video. And the link of the video will be updated here in this C column in this cell. Okay, that's what I want. So I want that my workflow should trigger when I enter the data here in the B column. Okay, after A, first of all, I'm going to fill the column A then B. Okay, so B column will be the trigger column. 
Now guys, first of all, let me just copy the Vabu URL here. You can see I have clicked on copy and here it started showing waiting for the Vabu connections response. Okay. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. Click on extensions, public connect web hooks, initial setup. And here we have already a URL pasted. Let me erase this and let me paste the new URL here. Okay. And here you can see we have this send test and the trigger column is B column. Okay. And here we have this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row that you have entered here will be sent to your workflow as the test data. And with the help of that data, we can set up the automation further. Okay. So here you can see guys in this uh, workflow, it's still waiting for the response. This means now we can bring the test data here by clicking on send test. Let me show you. Here, let me click on send test. And here you can see guys test data sent successfully. Okay. So let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured. Here you can see guys, we got the data captured here like this. It is showing you the video text. So this is the video text, the trigger column name, the spreadsheets name, spreadsheet ID, sheets name, sheet ID, row index, second row, and the caption of the post. Okay. So these are the same things I have entered here in my spreadsheet. You can see this is the video text caption. Okay. And the data got captured here. Now you can go back to the incognito window and from this initial setup, click on submit button. Okay. Then you can close this. And after this, you have to do one thing more, click on extensions one more time. And from this Pavli connect webhooks option, select this send on event option as well. So when you click on send on event, whenever you are going to add any new row here, the workflow is going to trigger. Okay. Now we are done making the connection. We got the test data. Now we can create videos using create a mat application. So for that, just click on the section step and here search for create a mat. Here it is selected. And the action event would be create single render. Okay. Select create single render then click on connect here from here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API key of create a mat application. And you will find this key in the project settings. So let me first show you the create mat application. This is my create mat application and this is a template of the video I'm going to use to generate videos. Okay. So you can see guys, this is a template I have and this is the kind of video template I have created inside create mat and in this template, I can change a few things like this text, this image, this uh, handle name and this name. Okay. I can change the four things here. Okay. In this video and with the help of these variable things, we can generate many more videos using the single template. Okay. Let me go back to the dashboard now and under dashboard, you will find these three dots here. Click on three dots from here. Click on project settings under project settings. You will find the API key label here. Click on click to reveal here and copy this key and paste the key here in this field like this and then click on save and you'll be connected with create mat. So we are connected and here it is asking for the templates name. So my templates name is this you can see code w slash video. This is my templates name which is already selected because we have one template. If you have more than one templates, it will show up here in the drop down. You can select it from here only. Okay. Now it is, uh, it, uh, it is showing us the output format, frame rate, render scale, height, width. So you can use all the features here, but right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this modifications feature, modifications field. So with the help of modifications, we can modify the existing template we have in create a mind. Okay. So you can learn about the modifications by clicking on this word. Okay. And here is the link of create a and here you can see what is the modification object. So it, you can read here. It is used to apply changes to a template before it's rendered. Okay. So we can apply the changes using modifications and to apply the changes, you have to fill the, uh, the data of these variables here. Let me show you. These are the variables, the text variable, the picture name, 
and the handle. So guys, you can change the values of these variables by providing the values in key value pairs. Okay. So guys, each of these variables have a unique key ID inside Creatomat and you have to pass the values of all those key IDs here in this modification field in this workflow and you have to pass the values in this key value format and the data will be changed. So what you can do, you can read here, you can just use this example here, you can just copy this example like this. You can copy the format and paste it here and here you can see here you have to provide the key ID of the elements, the variable elements and the value that you want to pass. Then another key ID, then the value. Let me show you the key IDs first. So uh, let us select this text label. Okay, I have selected this text element. So after selecting this, I'm going to click on this use template button right here on the top right corner. And from this list, click on API integration. And under API integration, you can see here, this is the text element and in this text element, uh, it is already written in the template, cultivate an optimistic mind. This is the text already written. And this is the key ID of this text label. This string of numbers and integers is the key ID. So I'm just going to copy this key ID from here. All right. And I'm going to paste it here in this key one area like this. So this is the key ID. Now in this value, in the place of this value one word, I can enter the value that I want to place here on the video. So let us find out a good text, a good quotation by anyone. And I'm going to place it here. So guys, I have used a phrase, a quotation by Charles Bukowski, and I have entered it here. You begin saving the world by saving one man at a time or all else is grandiose romanticism or politics. Okay, so this is the text I want to pass here in this video template. Okay, this is the first thing. Another thing that I want to change here is this name. Okay, that has been already pasted. This Elizabeth Parker. Okay, so I'm going to copy this key ID of the name text name element. And I'm going to paste it here in this key two. Okay, and here I want to place uh, the name of let's say you can enter your name I'm going to enter let's say Charles okay similarly you can change all the things guys I'm just going to show you uh, the changing of two things only but similarly you can change all of the four things you just have to copy the key IDs and pass the values here in this format okay and now let me just close this here and let me show you Right now, this is the uh, text already we have in the template. Cultivate an optimistic, optimistic mind. Now I'm going to click here on save and send test request and a new video will be created out of the same video template that we have. You can see guys, we got a new URL here in this response. Let me show you this video now. All right, so we have got a new video and here you can see guys in place of the name, we got Charles placed here. Previously, it was Elizabeth Parker. Now it is showing us Charles. And now you can see the text changing as well. Previously, it was this. And now you can see in the video, it is changed. According to the data I have entered here. So this is how it is going to work, guys. Now, what we can do, we want to share this created video on social media like Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to use Facebook here. I'm just clicking on plus icon to enter one more action step. And here I'm going to select Facebook pages. So I want to share this on a Facebook page I have. In place of Facebook, you can use Twitter, you can use Instagram, you can use LinkedIn or whatever you want. Okay, here in the action event, I'm going to select this create page video option as the action event. Okay, then click on connect here. From this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook pages. And it might bring you to the login window. But guys, I have already logged in. You can see, I have already logged in here. So it will be connected here like this. Alright, and here it is asking for the pages name. So guys, I have many pages on Facebook. And but currently, I'm going to show you the demo on this page. 
Pabli Tech. Okay, so I'm going to select the name of this page from this given list. Pabli Tech is here selected. All right. And here it is showing you the access token of the page and here it is asking for the video URL that you want to share, that we want to share. So I'm just going to map the video URL that we got here in the previous step. And to map this URL here, you just have to click here and the previous steps will appear in the drop down. And from the second step, just map this URL like this. And for the description, I'm going to use Google Sheets. And here we have this caption you can see. I'm going to map it here. And here you can see this is my page right now we have this post okay now let us check our connection i'm going to click on save and send test request button and a new video will be posted on facebook page so here you can see guys we got a new post id created let's check on, on our page i am just going to refresh the page and see let's see if we got a new post or not and here you can see guys we got a new post posted just now and the caption you can read here my first facebook post and this is the same video you can see that we got created out of creator mat okay so this is how it is going to work guys and let me tell you one thing more so guys we have created a really short video here so video is about um, you know 10 seconds video and we have changed only two things in the video template but you can create videos of 30 seconds 40 seconds also and create and change many things inside the template but when you do that it takes a few minutes to render the video by creator mat okay so what you can do here guys in this workflow after this creator mat step you can uh, provide a delay of four to five minutes in this workflow so after this creator mat step this workflow is going to wait for three to four minutes according to your delay time and uh, till the video get rendered properly and after that it will create a post so that the video will be rendered properly and it will be shared on your social media accounts properly so for that just click here in between these two steps after create a just click on this plus icon and here you can use a feature of public connect which is called delay and with the help of delay feature you can halt this workflow for a few minutes so here it is asking how much delay you want to put in the workflow so select delay for option delay for and it will ask for the units of the time so select minutes here okay and here you can provide one two three four five or any number that you want to put here so i want to put the delay of four minutes so i'm just going to click on save and send test request here and here you can see this workflow is delayed for four minutes so in real time whenever you are going to enter the data of any video here in the spreadsheet the workflow will run create the video and wait for a four minutes to get the video rendered properly and after that it will sh will be shared on your facebook page automatically and guys you can save the video videos link in your spreadsheet as well for that you just have to click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up and from here you can connect with google sheets again okay and to uh, to update this cell we are going to use the action event as update cell value okay you will find this update cell value option here select it then click on connect from here you can use your existing connections or the save connections or you can connect and create a new connection by clicking on add new i am just going to use my previously saved connections with google sheets okay so all the connections that you make here are saved in your account you can use those so here from this connections list you can select any of your previous connection then click on save and you will be connected again so here we are connected and here it is asking for the name of my spreadsheet so the name of my spreadsheet is this create a things so i'm just going to select it from here okay and the sheet name will be auto populated because we have only one sheet here sheet one and it got captured here it is asking the range where you want to update okay so i want to update this this uh, this cell okay so you can see the range of this cell is showing c2 here this means this cell is located at column c row number second okay so i am going to place this range here i am just going to put capital c 
okay capital C to uh, to enter the location of that cell and for the row number I am going to use this data that I have received here from the first step from the Google Sheets so here you can see we have received the row index label here and here it is showing two so row index label shows you the row number so I am going to map this row index here in this step okay so to map the number just click here after C and from this Google Sheets tab map the row index so when you map this label here what will happen in real time whenever you are going to enter the data here the row index will be updated in this workflow and the links will be placed properly here in this uh, in the uh, new columns in the new cells like C2, C3, C4 this will the row number will be updated here okay automatically and here in the value I am going to map the URL from Creatomats tab this is the URL just map it here so from from this spreadsheet you can directly see how the video is going to be generated automatically using these video links okay so let's check our connection I'm clicking on save and send test request and this URL will be updated in the cell let us see here you can see guys we got the video URL placed here automatically okay so we are done setting up this whole automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that you just have to add the details of the video template here in your spreadsheet and you just have to wait for a few minutes and your created video will be shared on your Facebook and the link of that video will be updated here in the cell values automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.